What's going on YouTube? This is your boy FTM and I'm back doing another review today. I just got these in the mail from the sneakers app from Nike and uh, as you are aware, I believe they call these the poor man's Dior. So let's get down to business. Let's break it down and see what these shoes are all about. So <clears throat> This is the box that came in. And as you can see, these are the Air Jordan 1 High Zoom Air. Uh, the colors, uh, white and white and racer blue. My size, size 12. Retail price, 175. And as you can see, there's a Nike box here. And in the background, I'm using a Nike lid that came with the box. So, with this shoe, you do get a pair of red laces that I might not use, I don't know for sure. But on the shoe itself, as you can see, the shiny parts of the shoe is the patent leather material that Nike has wrapped around a very nice quality white leather. And as you can see here on the toe box, the leather on here is pretty nice. Um, I do believe it's gonna crumple. It's gonna crumple because once you make a couple of Couple of bends here and there, or a quick stop. You know that pause or that pose. It's gonna, it's gonna crinkle. Uh, starter with these shoes come with white shoelaces. Uh, on the bottom, you can see here, uh, red fade into blue or blue fade into red. On the bottom is the Nike Zoom material, which a lot of people say makes the shoe a lot softer to walk in, more comfortable versus the traditional Jordan One High highs. On the back, this is, I don't think it's leather under here, but I do believe it could be the same nylon material at the top right there uh, that's covered under the uh, plastic uh, covering for the shoe to make it look like it might be a little leather because if you look real close, you can see the outlines in it. Uh, the Nike swoosh is made out of the same plastic materials, which is, overlaps the leather. Um, on the back, as you can see right there, the, the middle part is leather. Over here on this side is the same thing. And you can look right here, the quality of the, of the leather is really nice. Um, man, you know what? I always hear a lot of reviewers on YouTube talking about, oh, the leather is, is buttery or soft or premium. This is pretty nice leather. I really do like it. Um, it's very clean in my, yeah, in my, uh, you know, the way how I feel about it. This really is a clean looking type of shoe. Now, the pictures do this shoe no justice on sneaker app. It's, trust me, it, it don't even look like this, but in hand, it does look really, really, really nice. Um, down here inside the shoe, uh, it's very dark down here, but, uh, but you can see the uh, Nike symbol right here. The Nike Zoom symbol. And if I can get some light up in here. Let's see if I can do it this way. Yeah, you can see right here the Nike Zoom symbol right there. My size, size 12. I like the blue. Now that's another thing too I like about this shoe. The coordination, the clash of the colors, the blue, the patent leather white on top of the white leather. It's really, really nice. Um, this plastic piece right here with the Jordan wing symbol um, badge is uh, more like a, not a press on, but a, uh, oh, like an iron on patch or something like that, but you can actually feel the embroidery, uh, the, uh, um, it's sitting on top of this. So that's pretty nice. Um, the flaps do come out. So if you want to rock your shoelaces all the way up and leave the flaps out, leave the wings out, what we used to call it back in the day, that would look kind of cool, especially when you wear some nice skinny jeans or, you know, a nice pair of tapered sweatpants. Uh, the zoom material inside of this, um, is kind of awkward because in my shoes I had to throw the insoles come out but as you can see they have to lift it up part in the middle that's the zoom air material right there so from what Nike is saying he's supposed to be comfortable very comfortable with this type of material so I don't know this is my first pair I got with this material in it so I'm going to try it out and see uh, later on I'm not going to do it on foot right now I'm just going to do a regular review on the shoes but 
do like this shoe. And I think it's a keep. Now, a lot of people might be like, is this a, is a sell or sit? I don't know. Uh, I think if you're in a retail business, I don't think you would go wrong trying to sell these. Um, but I do believe if you decide to keep these for yourself, you, you won't go wrong. So I have done tests on these shoes. And when I mean test, the flashlight test, there is nothing on here that glows in the dark. It is a basic tennis shoe with uh, pad leather accents uh, around the leather. So, by saying that, uh, I might do it on foot, uh, but I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, I'll wait on that. So, um, I'm going to end this video on this Air Jordan 1 High Zoom Air. Um, before I go, I just want to share my thoughts uh, on this pandemic that's going out right now i hope that everybody's at home and safe and everybody's taking the advice that the doctors are saying about washing your hands uh keeping the distance from uh from one another and uh, you know um just doing everything you can to, to try to kill this disease that's going around um unfortunately a lot of us is going to be sitting at home because the jobs are telling people to stay home and and I don't know if you've been out like I have. It's like a ghost town uh, in some places where everything is closing so early. And you can't go to a restaurant or go to a movie or watch your favorite program on TV. So I'm going to take a negative and make it into a positive. So if you have family members that are still out there or friends that you have in contact, this is the best time to do it. Because when all this stuff is over with, it's life as usual. You're never going to, you probably won't have a chance to say hi, goodbye, or whatever. And this is, I guess, the man upstairs way of saying it's quality, it's time for quality time to spend with, with your loved ones and your friends. So by saying that, I'm going to end this one. So uh, thank you for watching my video. If you want to, please help me out because all these shoes I'm reviewing, these are my own personal shoes. I'm paying out of my own pocket. So uh, my brother is having you know, uh, Robin Paul to pay Peter. So if you could do me a big favor, please like, subscribe, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Um, leave a comment. Let me know what you cop this weekend, what you plan on copping this weekend. Cause I already know what my next victim's going to be. And also I got some other shoes that I want to review. I'm going to give you a quick sneak peek when I get a chance. Give me a quick sneak peek. I'm gonna get you a tail. I'm gonna give you a tail end of it. And I just want you to tell me what you think. There you go. <laughs> so, thank you for watching my video. Y'all have a good one. Be safe. Wash your hands. Peace.